Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. Uh, we are looking at a box plot and trying to uh, analyze this box plot to answer some questions about the uh, initial data. So this is coming from CPM uh, course two, and this is 7.1.8 and number 7-95. So it says, Elvin found the box plot below in the school newspaper. So here's my box plot. So just to remind you about things about the box plot before we even answer these questions, uh, some of the things you got to know that this number, that that first um, little hash mark there, that represents the, well, let me back up here. So box plots really are, are come from a list of data, graphing a list of data, right? So you would have data in consecutive order in order to then determine what this box plot is. So this number is always your lowest number. That there represents your highest. Oops, high, oops, there we go, sorry. Highest number, it's an H. Uh, and, then, and then we have the box itself. So those are your whiskers, if you will, right? So you draw these whiskers, but the, the specifically the numbers. So it looks like if I was going to put numbers underneath, that looks like that's a zero. This is going by one. So I would say that's 21. Then you have the very middle of your box or the, not the middle, but the, the line in the inside of the box, that's your median. That is your median. Remember, median is the middle number of the data. If I had all the data listed consecutively, I would find the one in the middle of the list. That's your median. It looks like that is at five, according to my box plot. Then you have this number here. That number represents the first quartile. Okay, the first quartile. And then that number here is here the third quartile okay meaning it's the the middle of the bottom half of the data so this is where we're separating the data so there's a quarter of the data is here another quarter of the data is in between those two values a quarter of the data is in between those two values and a quarter of the data is between those right a fourth 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 of the data uh looks like that number is at three and this number is at ten all right, so now that we've been able to interpret the box plot itself, let's answer these questions. So based on, the, based on the plot, what percent of students watch more than 10 hours of television each week? So more than 10. So that's 10 and more. So what percent? Remember what I just told you was a fourth of the data is in between here, a fourth of the data there, a fourth of the data is in between those two, and a fourth there. So there's one fourth, one fourth, one fourth, and one fourth. So if if we want to know what percent watch more than 10 hours, that's one fourth, one fourth of, of the data, right? One fourth as a percent is 25%. Okay? And then based on the plot, what percent of students watch less than five hours of television each week? So here's the five, less than five. So if each of these are one fourth and from zero to five, that's one half of the data, right? So that's one half of the data. So one half of data, which means that would be what percent would be 50%. And then can Elvin use the plot to find the mean, the average number of, of hours of television students watch each week? If so, what is it? Explain your reasoning. So it, in order to find the mean, the mean, remember, is taking all of the data points, add them all up and divide by the number of data. Like if there was, uh, it doesn't tell me how many students were surveyed right? Numbers of hours spent watching TV. So I don't know how many students were surveyed. So I don't know how much data there is. And I don't know all the specific points. So it, I cannot find mean, cannot find the mean. Okay. And why? Because, um, cannot find the mean, um, because we 
do not know all the data, right? We need all the data to, to figure that out. So can you use the plot to find the median? Well, yes, we can. I actually showed you that, right? So the median is the median is right here. We, we, we covered that, right? So the median is at five. So yes, the median is five, right? And how, explain your reasoning. Um, we'd say it's the, it's um, the mark within the box, the mark within the box, right? Okay, there we go.